Hey guys, just got this uh, new LED chip from Dave over at Nanobox Reef. And I just wanted to give a little bit of a run through using this chip using the Storm LED driver. I'm powering the chip through uh, these two custom made 1000 milliamp PWM enabled drivers and running them, uh, running each of these LED strings, there's two strings running them at 24 volts. And so let's just take a look at some of the capabilities we have with this setup. Go to setup, I'm going to go to the PWM settings, and I have them on channels 1 and 2. So taking a look at channel 1, that is the white and appears to be green channels. And you can see I have control. That's uh, one out of 255. And we can ramp that all the way up if we wanted to. Just give you a view of how freaking bright it is. Okay, that's full bore. Can't run it too long because I'm don't have the fan on this uh, heat sink here. It's just being passively cooled at the moment. So shutting off that channel, let's take a look at channel 2. That is the blue channel. We have six LEDs there. And again, giving you an idea of how bright this channel can get. Uh, here we go, that's full blast and going back down. I'm going to go ahead and set both of, both of these channels at um, something like 30%. Set that one to 100 out of 255. And go ahead and exit all these settings. And just going through a manual mode of all of them at once. Just to show you, if I turn all of them up for the last, that's for the last of all of them. You can see these, uh, these flowers are really liking them. Mm -hmm. Let's get out of here. I'm going to turn on some uh, lightning effects. Let's see how they, they look. Under lightning, so I'm going to turn up the clouds and lightning mode is on. And so we should see some dimming, signifying a cloud passing overhead, and some lightning effects in short order. I'll just continue to talk while it runs. Go. It's dimming. Oh, and there's a lightning, lightning flash. And it's back to normal. Oh, another cloud has appeared. It's flashing. And this is all adjustable through the uh, cloud frequency setting. We enter setup and go to the cloud frequency. And then go to zero, that'll shut them off, all the way to 10, which is what you just saw. All in all, it's a pretty interesting control chip when paired with the Corelux Storm LED driver.